Hi, welcome to Lakata Live. This is Barbara Crane and Jasmine Ruby with Lakata Group Real Estate Advisors. We're part of EXP Realty Brokerage. Um, so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is a little different for us. Um, we are holding down the fort while some of our agents are in training over at FAR today. Um, Definitely important to stay knowledge base and real estate rules are changing all the time. So it's good to be informed and to be educated and to continue that education. So they, um, do you know what this one's for? This one is for contract writing, for mm -hmm. advanced contract writing. So contracts change um, yearly. They, they make updates. So it's great, like I said, that like Barbara was saying, you know, to for the our agents to be on top of it and and know um, what we're ne what they're negotiating. <laughs> yes, especially in the times of it being different and multiple offers and different things like that. They take training as well, um, or coaching and do scripts on how to. Um, win contracts. That's definitely really important right now. Absolutely. With uh, with if you're a buyer or seller, um, you may <clears throat> you may know or have experience. You know, maybe losing a couple of offers um, or winning, <laughs> and that's what you know. The agents are always uh, doing some sort of training to stay knowledgeable, just like Barb said. Absolutely. And it's not just the agents, it's the whole team. Mm -hmm. The whole team yeah. is always investing in our education and moving to be better. And, you know, like Jazz, tell them what you're doing. Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, Pat and I are going to be going to Las Vegas for, it's called EXP Con. And um, I'm really excited to go and learn about more of the technologies that are out there um, through EXP. Um, again, more different like strategies, um, <clears throat> marketing, what, what we can be doing better for our team and for our clients so that way they have a better um, client experience. Uh, we, have, we already have systems in place now, um, proven repeatable systems that work and, and I'm just wanting to improve them, streamline them. Um, to like I said, just to make a better client experience. Real estate's always evolving, though. Very so true. it's always yes. changing, and there's always times that you can do things better. Um, in any business, not just real estate, but I think it is an incredible team that really wants to invest to be better and better all the time, not just in technology or um contracts just in everything to and the most important thing with the Lakata group is the client experience we want you to have the best client experience possible absolutely and i think the what is the saying the proof is in the pudding, pudding. yes <laughs> um <laughs> so i definitely think it is if you you know check out our website you can see our reviews um we have so many I think over 390 now, five-star reviews. Um, I'm happy to, I'll post those uh, in the link after we're done here. Um, but everyone is free to check it out. You can Google Lakata Group Real Estate, Lakata Group um, Realtors, and you'll see our, our little Google reviews. Five stars, really proud of our team. I'm Absolutely, really, I am too. Yeah, I'm really proud. And then... Um, we would like to link, thank everybody that came out for our client appreciation event that we had on Saturday. Saturday. Mm -hmm. It was so successful. And the adorable costumes mm -hmm. that the kids <laughs> had. And some we, dogs, too. Some so, dogs, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and Jasmine was a beautiful witch. <laughs> and um, definitely not the wicked witch. She was a beautiful witch. <laughs> And Poncho, he was our little Superman. Superman. He was our little superhero. Um, so it was, yeah, it was really fun. It was a good time. We had a couple games, a couple contests. We always have, uh, what is it, cornhole. So people were playing some cornhole. We had a candy counting contest. So um, just wanted to show you guys the jar. So the guesses were amazing. They ranged, I think, anywhere from down to like 60 all the way 
up to over 300. Um, hi, Dan. Dan Reams is there. He was there. So this uh, this was the candy counting contest. So the number was 92. And <clears throat> Rob Pittman, I've already notified the winner, but he did win. So congratulations again. Yay, Rob. <laughs> and I also notified the family um, that won the $25 Walmart gift card uh, for the costume contest. Everyone in their family had dressed up. Um, they were super cute. So I'll post the pictures from everyone that I, I was able to get pictures of <clears throat> um, on Facebook shortly. So that was that was so much fun. It was a great event. Yeah. yeah. And the weather was perfect. Oh it was perfect. It was. It was. So next year, I think I said this a couple times. Um, I don't think I told the team yet. <laughs> but I want to. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was talking about it with Barbara. I think it'd be fun. Um to do a theme next time and, and have all of us, um, not just me, but just everyone in the team dress up. And if anyone has ideas, I would love it. My idea was Grease, uh, all the girls in pink. Be the pink ladies. Yep, and then all the guys, you know, with their leather jackets and everything. I thought that'd be fun. But I'm open to ideas. I think we're all open to ideas. So if you have any, um, themed costumes that you'd like to see the Lakata group in, please uh, let us know. <laughs> I think we should do the Minions. Oh my gosh, that would be so <laughs> cute. <laughs> Poncho could be a little Minion too. <laughs> that would be really cute. That would be I funny. I would like that a lot. So yeah, I'm, like I said, open to ideas. We, um... We'll break it to the team. Easy. <laughs> see, see if we can get everyone to participate. That'd be so much fun. And Go ahead. Um, I was, that was kind of it for me for our client. Oh, well, thank you to Wilderness Run Vineyard. Um, yes. Shout out to them for, you know, letting us host our event there. Um, awesome wine, beer. Um, they had a food truck there, which was awesome. I'm, I think they're there almost every weekend. So check them out if you've never been um, that's an awesome winery. Yes, and they and were, right by the time our event was over, they were playing some music in oh, the yeah. back part of the vineyard, yeah. and it was actually really good. And so it's definitely a great winery to check out. And kid-friendly, you can, um, there's a playground at the very bottom of the winery. Um, they have, like, goats and Yeah, horses. very pet-friendly, too. <laughs> pet-friendly, they got chickens running around, so just make sure... Um, your dogs are leashed if they, uh, yes, they're they prey have to be driven. leashed. <laughs> <laughs> um, next, we're going to go into some local business shout outs um, mm -hmm. because these are some really great businesses that our team enjoys going to. So I'm going to give Jasmine the first. Actually, I'll take the first one. Okay. <laughs> so Guacamole is a Mexican restaurant that is up on 20. If you have ever been um, to that restaurant, my family goes every Friday, and we love them. Not only is it great food, but it is great hospitality. The owner there is amazing. All the servers are amazing. And um, Jasmine and I were talking about client experience. Guacamole definitely has it nailed down on client experience because the service is always amazing, and they are always so friendly. Yeah, I agree. Um, I've been there a few times myself. Um, with friends, and I've gone there also by myself with Poncho, and, you know, we just sit outside. Because mm -hmm, they have the little sit-out garden area to sit at. Yeah, and it's really nice. Um, like I said, just like Barb said, they're super friendly, super accommodating. Um, some places don't let you, you know, have dogs. I didn't take them inside, but even outside, some places are still, um, limited and they were super friendly um they loved poncho and yeah really good food really great drinks so definitely recommend them check them out if you haven't already um like barbara said they're up on route 20 um by what is that shopping center there's like a um, is it a bp gas station yeah. it's an exxon station exxon station they're right there there's like a dollar general right there um so check them out they're really good um, also over there is, which is Brew, Brew. I believe. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've been there a couple times. 
<clears throat> and they're really good. Yes, doing the vacant checks. I do vacant checks on the listings every Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And so I just happened to stop in there, sneak in there real quick to grab a cup of coffee because I had forgotten mine here at the office. And the hospitality there, too, is amazing. It was such an awesome experience. I didn't stay in. I actually just got my coffee and had to go. <laughs> but while I was waiting for them to make my coffee, it was good. I got the white mocha. Love the white mocha. So definitely a great place to get some coffee. I've had, I think I want to say it was a mocha as well from there. I drink decaf only because that's just myself. But um, it was really yummy. And I actually ordered, I think it was a little croissant, like ham and cheese croissant. was super mm, delicious. That sounds good. little snack, just a little snack that they had there. And just when you go inside, the vibe is really cool. Um, it is. You know, and it's decorated it awesome right now for Halloween, so oh, you should go I see it. it. I haven't seen it for Halloween. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, check them out. Check out Witch's Brew um, right here in Locust Grove. And I'm going to go ahead and let you talk about Clearwater. Clearwater is um, <clears throat> a fire and grill restaurant here and bar here in Locust Grove, Virginia, right outside of Lake of the Woods. And I love partnering with them um, because anytime, you know, I've asked for, hey, you know, do you guys want to team up? And, um, you know, we're trying to do some things here for the community. They're always on board. Always. Um, they, they're, they're great. They'll cater to you, you know, cater. They offer catering, catering. services. They do get booked up pretty quick. Um, so we've used them for catering ourselves. Pat and John have used them for catering. They're awesome. Um, I, I'm trying to think. I have not been there for brunch. I have been for brunch. Brunch there is amazing. Mm, I want to go. Yes, it's such good food. You have all kinds of choices for brunch. And um, my husband and I have gone. It is very yummy. So I'll have to check out their brunch yes. sometime. I know that on Fridays, sometimes Fridays, um, I don't know if it's every Friday. It's every Friday. Oh, okay. Every Friday, check out, you know, their Facebook for updates. But they have karaoke, so definitely get out there if you um, if you like to sing and have a good time. Um, or you have liquid courage and like to sing. Liquid courage, yes. <laughs> I am not I'm a singer. <laughs> I have been a, uh, a party to that. <laughs> and I have uh, I've have participated, although I'll never do it again. <laughs> But it's fun. It's such a fun time. So definitely, um, you know, if you you know, sometimes you don't want to drive all the way to Culpeper or all the way to Fredericksburg on a Friday night or Saturday night. You know, um, the food there is delicious. Um, I love the. It's like a buffalo chicken, spicy buffalo chicken sandwich. Super, super good with ranch. And then they have, the nice thing about Clearwater is they have everything from sandwiches and salads and soups all the way up to prime rib, mm -hmm. steak, all of those meals. And their crab stuffed haddock is amazing. And mm. also they have um, their version of firecracker shrimp, which is thinking, extremely you read good. My mind. I yes. was thinking of that. So <laughs> definitely a great restaurant to check out too. Yeah, that firecracker shrimp is really good. They have like specials during the week, I yes. think, where they do um, you know Tonight I believe is cheeseburgers. I'm not the sure. Wa the gr clear water grill cheeseburger. There we go. Yeah, so check them out. They're really good. They have, and I've had their wings. Their wings are really good, yeah, too. Yeah, the wings, the flavors are super delish. So, um, oh, definitely. and crab cakes. Don't forget the crab cakes. Mm, okay, I haven't had the crab cakes there yet. But, yeah, there's, please, you know, stop by there, say hello, um, and get some food, get some drinks. Mm -hmm. um, Family-friendly restaurant, you know. They have, like, outdoor seating in the back, yes. too. Um, I know it's kind of getting cooler for, for that, but yeah, stop by there. They're awesome. Uh, clear water's delicious. And then the other little, um, another restaurant right here in the strip mall that we're in is Tokyo. Mm -hmm. And Tokyo has very good, it's the Japanese without the, you don't see, you can see them cook, but it's not at your table. Mm -hmm. But Hibachi. the food, yep, the food is amazing and they do lunch they do dinner, and um, they just now reopened for back inside. Oh, so, yeah. yep, definitely worth trying to. 
The lunch specials, definitely one of my favorites. Um, you know, we're a little limited here on, on uh, you know, what you can order here at Locust Grove. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and they're definitely on my top five list. Yes. Um, I love the, uh, the, like Barb said, they have lunch specials. The sushi lunch specials yes. are super good. Um, seaweed salad, super good. So, And the to... sushi's made fresh oh, yeah. right in front of you. It is. Yep, it sure is. And I haven't explored outside of maybe those few things, and I, I should, um, but they're really good. So, so check them out, too, you know, if you're craving them for lunch or dinner. And then we wanted to go into also, because we're just trying to do a local biz shout out. So now um, Jasmine and I are both customers and clients of All Fur Pet Grooming. Mm -hmm. They are amazing. I have a little Yorkie and she's just about a pound, but she is mean as a snake <laughs> when you're cutting her hair, her toenails or anything like that. And they take such good care of her and are so nice to her and get through grooming her. And she looks amazing at the end, especially for a dog that's fighting them <laughs> the entire time. And I know you use them for poncho, too. I do. And I've seen when you brought her in after um, after getting groomed. And she looks so beautiful. She yes, because so she pretty. looks homeless before. <laughs> <laughs> she's so pretty. Um, I do. I take poncho there. He doesn't have, you know, like hair like a Yorkie but he definitely sheds a lot so they've got like special shedding um shampoos and stuff that they use for him they use like I think like some sort of perfume mm -hmm. too which that is really nice so good. um <clears throat> that smells really good they he hates getting his nails cut in any kind of way so I've got to take him to get that done um and and they're awesome. They're super friendly when he comes mm -hmm. in. Um, and they're and I I mean I think the prices are are really great for where we are. I think they actually offer additional services. I just use I've just used them for like I, grooming. grooming. Um, but I think they do offer additional services. Um, you know, for boarding and things like that. If if you know you're going out of town and you um you need someone to watch them so so reach out to them um for that if you have more questions or uh any would like any more information about that i would reach out to them directly but we from our experience we highly um like that love them and recommend mm -hmm. them so you know please reach out to them um they've even taken poncho like i'll call them monday morning 8 a.m and just say, hey, you know, do you have room for, for my little dog? And sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, they're just accommodating. They're very accommodating. So so reach out to them. I've even gotten calls. <clears throat> I don't take them as regularly as I used to, but I thought it was so cool. They gave me a call. I think it was like maybe a month or a month and a half after I'd taken him, and they were just like, hey, we're just checking up, just seeing if you wanted to, you know, make another appointment soon. And and I thought that was really cool because I was like, oh, you know what, I guess it's I about do it. that time. Yep. Yeah, it's about that time. Because <laughs> life gets busy. It does. So it's nice that they, they had done that um, for us. The other really cool thing is Jasmine has put all these local businesses that we just spoke about. They are on our website. Mm -hmm. And they all have links to their websites, right? Yep. So yep. you can definitely check those out. And then... That's on Lake of the, the Woods, Woods, Virginia, spelled out, dot com. Um, if you go look in our blogs or also I think I have it under uh, local businesses, you should be able to see all the interviews that we've done with them um, over the past five years. Um, there's more than what I just mentioned. We've got mechanics there. Everything. We have, you know, nail services there, um, sp you know, nail and spa services there's tons of, of local businesses that we love to support. So please check them out on Lake of the Woods, Virginia, spelled out, dot com. Let's Speaking talk of Lake of the Woods. Yes. So I um, we had a client, one of our um, sellers. sellers, bring this in. She was like, she wasn't sure what to do with it and, and thought we might like it. And we absolutely love it. Um, this is <clears throat> the Lake of the Woods. Um, you can see it's the restrictive covenants and articles of incorporation. I think they said from the 70s. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's so neat. Um, I mean, it just it's just such a cool, 
what do you call it, like time? Yes, time it's piece. almost like a time capsule. Oh my god, yes, time capsule. That's the word I was looking for. So it used to cost a <laughs> dollar. I don't know if you can see that. Times have definitely changed. I think now for this, it's about $150 or so. Um, and it's a lot thicker. Yes. <laughs> and it's online. It's all, you know, online now. But I just thought this was so neat. And this that, seller had lived it has lived in the community since the 70s. Oh, wow. That's yes. awesome. So she had this wonderful book because she has lived in the lake for so long. And Pat, um, when I had showed her this, she said she has a collection um, of others that she's received. So we're going to add that to her collection. And I just thought this was the neatest, the neatest thing. And it's so well preserved. Like it's in perfect know? condition. Yeah. So this is great. It's really cool. Really cool little piece of uh, Lake of the Woods. Um, so with Lake of the Woods, uh, this is the, today is actually the last day um, that donations are being accepted and received for the 2021 Winter Clothing Drive, sponsored by the Lions Wilderness Food Pantry. Oh, sorry, sp sponsored by the Lake of the Woods Lions and Lioness Club. Um, so they are collecting clean, gently used, or new warm items. We have had... Um, a handful of people over the last uh, two or three weeks bring in, yep. bring in uh, gently used winter clothes. And thank you. Thank you so much. much. I just had some more, um, a couple of people drop some off this morning. <clears throat> so collection drop-off stations is our office, of course. We're next to the, uh, we're in the Food Line Shopping Center between CVS and AT&T. Um, we're taking coats, sweaters, gloves, hats, children coats, hats, gloves. Children's items are especially needed. So if you have any, um, you know, clean, gently used or new warm children's coats, uh, we're, we're happy to take those. And with your help, we're hoping to don or hoping to help as many needy families as we can. The volunteers will be distributing the winter clothing on Saturday, October 30th from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Lions Wilderness Food Pantry. And they're located on up on Route 20 in the Locust Grove Town Center. So give us a call if you uh, need any more information about that. Um, again, today is the last day they are um, or accepting the donations. And then next um, event oh. is, mm -hmm. go ahead. Sorry, Barb. I think I don't think I told you the rest of the drop-off locations. I think I just said ours. Um, additional drop-off locations to ours are uh, the Lake of the Woods Clubhouse, the Fairways Pro Shop entrance, entrance Edward Jones. Um, they're also across from Lake of the Woods Gate, the Lions Yard Sale, uh, Lake of the Woods Church. There's a box outside of the Worship Center, the Holcomb Building on the lower level. And then us. All right. And then next coming up will be the children's toy box where it is collections for toys. And they need to be unwrapped. And um, they will all remain in Orange County for the Orange County residents. The drop-off sites for those are going to be the Clubhouse and Fairways Cafe, the Valona Building, the Lioness Book Sale on the Ferris Building on November 27th from 8.30 to 12.30. The Lakata Group, us, um, near CVS. We're, like I said, in between AT&T and CVS. And then Caldwell Banker Elite. So please bring uh, bring any un new unwrapped toys starting November 4th is yes. when we're going to start collecting. And they will be collecting through December 3rd. Uh, they will accept monetary donations. Um, so if you do want to bring in a check, we can let you know who to make it out to. Um, all these, all of these events, um, you know, donations, um, all of this is also on our website yes. if you need more information. Um, so we're uh, absolutely happy to help and be a part of this. Um, to give back to the community. Absolutely. And last year, we had so many toys 
that people oh, donated yes. that we couldn't even keep them in like it was the box the was box overflowing. Was over full. Oh my gosh, it was awesome. It was really awesome. So we want to double that. We want to have <laughs> more than two boxes for these um for the toys. And then um that's my homework. That's my homework. <laughs> the other thing is we just want to remind you that we have notary services here. Jasmine mm -hmm. and I are both notaries and we have no problem notarizing anything for you that you might need. Plus, we have shred services, and you can bring your shredding to us. And Right now, our shred box is a little full, full. so we can't take any more right now. But um, November 2nd, I think that's yep. next week, we'll be good to go. Um, it'll be completely empty. Please bring in any, any shredding um, materials that you need. Yes. And it doesn't get shredded by us, like in a box. It, no, it gets picked up by a professional um, Iron company. Mountain shredding company, and they take it off site. We don't have a key. We don't have access, so it is all secured. Yes. Um, so you can be confident that your um, sensitive uh, items will be remain sensitive. Yeah, and and be securely destroyed. For the notary services that uh, Barbara was mentioning, we just ask that you please call us um, to schedule an appointment. Yes. <clears throat> um, it also helps us because a lot of times, sometimes your notary documents may require witnesses. Um, we just want to make sure that we have the witnesses here for you. Mm -hmm. And that, so that's the one of the reasons for the appointment. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, uh, there's certain documents that we can't notarize. I know typically, like if it says like it's a medallion stamp that's needed, that's something you actually need to get notarized at a bank. Um, it's in a secured location. It's it's a high level of notary. Right. Um, you know, we are Virginia notaries. So we're happy to help with that. We, um, we I would say we do maybe what, more than five a month. We do them pretty often. We do them a lot, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we do them pretty often. So, you know, give us a call, 540-388-2541 um, to schedule an appointment for your notary should you need it. And there's no cost. Nope. The only thing we ask is that if you know of somebody that's buying or selling, that you'll remember us and you'll refer us. Absolutely. And I think that's all we've got right now for, for Lakata Live. Yes. And who's next week? Um, you know what? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> so, but every Tuesday, 11 o'clock, check us out. Yeah, every Tuesday we'll be here. And um, next week, I'm sure they'll have a real estate update for yep. you uh, and let you know what's going on, what they learned in their classes. And tune in. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.